Hello guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you guys on how to design MB ties on portable base map server for GeoDK mobile app. As you all know that location taking with global positioning system DPS units is now considered standard practice for survey and research collecting. It is imperative to have a standard way of gathering geographical information in the field so that collection users have the best possible information on which to build their research on. I'm going to be using this portable folder, portable base map folder to create the MB ties. Then I'm going to insert it into the GeoODK mobile app. And uh, you are going to see how seamlessly it is. Um, before I move further, I, I need to show you guys a um, sample of what I'm going to be creating in this class. Um, on clicking on my mobile device, and I have the GeoODK installed on my mobile device. So whenever I click on it, it's going to take me to this interface, the GeoODK interface. Um, here you have um, you have a blank background. So um, what I'm going to be doing is to create a background for this um, GeoODK. So whenever I click on these ties, I have the sample installed. I have this Lagos MB tie. So whenever I click on it, it's going to show the ties. It's going to show the location of where I'm going to be taking um, the uh, data, where I'm going to be doing my research, my data collection research. So you have the map here. You can zoom in. You can zoom in. You can zoom in. And you can zoom out also. So whenever I'm taking the point, it's going to show on the map. It's going to show the geolocation on the map. So, so that um, it will be easy to detect outliers. So, uh, um, so that it will be easy to detect outliers. Um, so, let's get um, started. Um, so, the first thing we need to do is to click on this portable base map server. Then, I will come down to portable base map server, the application, where I have 1.072 kilobytes. So, I will right click on it. Then I will run as administrator. Then on clicking on it, I will click yes. And it's going to bring out this interface where I have the portable base map server version 3.1. So um, the next thing I need to do is to click on this format convert. Format convert. Format convert. So whenever I click on it, it's going to bring out this RTIS to MB ties. No. We want to use these online maps to empathize. So we are using the online maps to empathize. So I will click on the online map to empathize. So whenever I click on it, it's going to bring out this. So you can change the data source to... Um, so uh, we have two types of ties. For those who are new to um, GIS, we have two types of ties. We have the imagery, uh, we have, which, is the, which is called the raster ties, and we also have the vector ties, which is called the road map, the open street map, like this, something like this, where we have the points, lines, and polygon. So um, I'm going to be creating the MB ties on these vector ties and also on this raster ties. So um, the first thing I need to do is to, um, let me create it first on the, on the vector ties. So this is the vector ties. And I'm going to browse to save to show where i'm going to save it to so um, let me save it as vector vector lagos so you choose a folder then you click on it then you save it there so i'm saving it as vector lagos so um, i can select all the zoom layer from 0 to 19. we have 0 to 19 zoom layer so i can select all then i can click on it Double click on it or tap on it. It's going to zoom in and it's going to be counting the zoom layer level. So I can click on it. I can click on it. So, um, okay, this is what I want. I want to create MB ties for this particular area, for this particular um, area. So um, the next thing I need to do is to come here and click on draw extent by mouse. 
you can import your shape file if you have and i'm going to be showing you in the next class on how to design shape file and how to use it to create any ties so but for this uh, particular video i'm going to be showing you on how to draw the shape file how to draw the layer and create your envy ties so click on this then right click then when you right click you can select the layer so I, I, I will select this particular layer so after selecting then you can click on start to download the MB ties so you are going to wait for a while so now we have it um, saved we have it convert to MB ties so you can click on OK and uh, so you can also um, design the MB ties on raster ties which is the imagery so I can just click on this Google map imagery same thing applies it's going to bring out the imagery the um, raster ties of uh, this map so I can just click on start to download same um, to create this MB ties on raster ties so let me just do that also so um, okay i need to change the name to um, rasta rasta Lagos. Whoa. Now I have the raster and the vector ties installed, um, um, MB ties installed on my, on my folder. So I can just minimize, can minimize this, then check for um, the folder. Um, it's installed on this medium. So you can click on it. So you know why I'm having this is because I have Matalite installed on my, on my system. So on your own, you may not have something like this. Uh, because I have a map tile installed on my system, that's why I'm having something like this. So never mind. So you can just copy this to the raster and the vector ties. You can copy it, then search for your mobile device, install your mobile device, connect it with the USB to your PC, then go to the internal storage or wherever you install your GeoODK. Then look for this folder, GeoODK folder which is this you click on it then after clicking on it you look for the offline layers you look for the offline layers then you click on it then you can now paste your your mb ties into the offline layers here i have the rasters lagos i also have the vector lagos this is the one i use for the sample so i have the raster lagos i also have the vector lagos so let me go again you can just click on your you can connect your mobile device to your pc then click on the GeoODK uh, folder. Then after clicking on that, you click on the offline layers. After clicking on the offline layers, you paste your MB ties you created using the portable base map server into the offline layers. So I paste it here. So I have it here. So the next thing for me to do is just to click it. Um, it is very important. It's very imperative to, uh, to reboot your system. Um, before going to the Geo ODK, I always advise people to do that so that you will not have any error. So um, the best thing to do is to reboot. You restart your speed. You restart your mobile device. Then after restarting or rebooting your mobile device, then you can now go back to your Geo ODK. So um, so um, I've done that. So let's go to my Geo ODK collect. So I will click on it. After clicking on it then i can now click on this layer then after clicking on the layer so i have the raster lagos mb ties i also have the vector lagos mb ties so let me click on the um vector um raster mb ties this is the raster mb ties um so you have the imagery on your geo odk so you can zoom in and you can zoom out you can zoom in to the layer then you can also zoom out to the layer so you have the 19 zoom layer from 0 to 19. And also you can do that to um, the vector 
Lagos MBTIs. So this is it. So why is this uh, MBTIs important in GeoODK? So it is important because it will allow them to detect outliers. It will allow researchers to um, avoid double count. It will also allow you, it to serve as a guide for um, researchers. It will also let them to know the particular point they've taken in the research. It has various importance. Um, so it is imperative to use um, MB ties whenever you are using your ODK uh, for some particular survey or particular research. Um, um, if you want to um, download the possible base map, I'm going to put the link below my YouTube video so that you can just click on the link and download the portable base map, then use it to design MB ties. We have various tools to design MB ties. We have the map tilers, we have the uh, ArcGIS, you can use QGIS, you can use this portable base map, you can use several um, applications for designing um, MB ties. But for this particular video, I'm using the portable base map server. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to design the shape file and also how to use other tools to design um, MB ties for Geo ODK. So click on the like button and um, follow my YouTube channel. Thank you.